Devin Olson, legend among fly fishers, has created the blowtorch to catch any fish you ever wanted in your whole life. Well, maybe not that much. It's a great pattern. Look at the little tiny tweak that we do to it. Fly fish food. Okay. So for this fly, I've got it on a 14 hook. Uh, you can put lots of different sizes of beads on this one. I've got a 3.5 mil on this one. You can go three or four mil or even smaller than that. But three is a good sweet or 3.5 is a good sweet spot for this one. I'll start with fluorescent orange thread because that's going to be a hot spot for us as soon as the fly is done. And to to make the uh, the hot spot on this, I'm going to use this glow bright material. I'm just going to take or the, the tail is what I'm making. To make the tail on this, I'm going to use four strands of this glow bright material. And I'll just tie that in up here by the bead. And I'm also going to tie in both of the strands of material that I'm going to use to rib the fly. So I've got the sulky material and some monofilament. The monofilament counter ribs the sulky to make it more durable. And if I'm doing it right, the sulky should be on my side of the hook, the, the monofilament on the other side, but it doesn't really matter too much. My thread exploded on me a little bit right there, but guess what? It's a dub body, so who cares? All right, so from here, I'm just going to grab those tail, the tail hot spot and just nick it off about right there. That's, that's plenty for a hot spot. And I'm going to use just like a peacock green, a, a dark colored ice dub type material for this one. You can use black, all different types of stuff. But I really like this hen specter dub for this. It tends to dub down a little tighter. So once I have that dubbing noodle ready, I'll just dub that forward, creating a little bit of a taper right up to there. Now the sulky is what I'm going to rib first and I'm going to rib that the, the opposite way that I've been wrapping everything else. You catch that and trim it off and then I'm going to take the monofilament and rib that the opposite way that I ribbed the sulky. And that traps it all down nice, but you can still see the sulky rib through the dubbing. It makes a super durable fly. All right, this is where the difference is. Instead of using soft hackle or CDC or whatever, I'm just going to use this uh, squirrel dub that I've mixed with black uh, CDC dubbing. It's a really cool way to make a collar on, on a Euro nymph or any type of nymph. But I'm just going to make a small dubbing loop and close it off. And then I'm just going to put, put my shepherd's, uh, shepherd's loop in there with the gator grip tool. And the reason I, I cut off the corner of the bag uh, of this dubbing is so I can just grab a little bit of it, just like that. When I put it in the dubbing loop, it kind of all sits going the same direction. Now, the way that I make this dubbing is you can buy just the, the Wapsi Natural Furs uh, Squirrel Dub in Gray Squirrel or Fox Squirrel, and you can buy the Trout Hunter CDC Dub, and you basically just take uh, a little bit of each, put it in a coffee grinder, pulse it for just a, a one second, a couple times, and it will turn into that. So anyway, we'll twist that up. All right, so once we're twisted up, I'll just use my, no, I'm not gonna use rotary, I lied. We're gonna take this loop and just wrap it one full time around the, the hook shank and tie it off. And from here I should be able to preen those fibers back and build up a little bit of a hot spot out of the orange thread and whip finish. 
So there you go. If you don't catch fish on this fly, email Devin and tell him it doesn't work because it's not my creation.